Morning ladies and gents and welcome to this trade view. We're, we're going to have a look at gold this morning. It's a long opportunity that came up on the charts. We're just going to use this opportunity to break down the trade, uh, look at some of the key indicators we use, and then ultimately get to where the entry, uh, the stop and the target was and just build a narrative and a rationale um, for why we took this trade ourselves, uh, perhaps something you can look to use in the future. So as we said, it was a long position um, within gold. Now the general sort of background for gold at the moment, it's been trading within a range. You can see this range really from the 2nd of June. Um, we're just looking here on a 30 minute chart, um, just the, uh, the session chart here. Um, and then due to an increase in fundamentals, we saw the, the lows of that range get broken out. So we can see that aggressive move lower here. We actually gapped lower um, off the back of the, the Fed rate decisions last week. Uh, and immediately reversed that positioning and traded back aggressively back up um, within that range uh, following on from the ECB following um, on the following day. Um, now the Fed, um, their narrative uh, was suggesting a 25 basis point hike coming in towards the year end, um, but the dot plot contradicting that suggesting perhaps there was a possibility for a 50 basis point hike. Uh, that more hawkish commentary, strength from the dollar, which drove gold uh, lower through the bottom of the range. Now, uh, then comes the, the battle, ongoing battle between the ECB and the Fed. Um, the ECB here still remaining far more hawkish than uh, the Fed, suggesting there's no real end in sight to their potential rate hikes. Um, and that hiking cycle going to continue on uh, into, the, to, into the near future. Um, the knock on effect of that euro dollar strengthened aggressively, hawkish ECB strengthened euro weakened the dollar. Uh, which enabled us to trade back up within inside this range. So as it came into this morning, we were trading just generally in the middle of that range, having had a false break to the downside. In terms of profiles for that day, two profiles here, volume profile and market profile. We're going to focus in predominantly on the market profiles. Now, whilst we were trading within the range, um, the previous day prior to that breakout um, was still fair, a bit of a P-shape. We saw a lot of excess trading at the lows, suggesting some strong buyers coming in. Um, and whilst we didn't have poor highs, we did create a couple of ledges right at the top of that profile, just suggesting we spent a reasonable amount of time up there, not a huge amount of desire to sell up at those prices. Um, then came the big spike. Now we, we blipped lower, um, aggressively found some buyers. Again, strong excess coming in at the lows, and then we did get some poor highs posted. Three TPOs sat there right at the top of that profile, again suggesting very weak intent to sell uh, and suggestion of perhaps um, a bullish move to come. And of course, this following on um, from that uh, sort of liquidation move back up into the range. Um, following then on from that, we've come into a nice balanced D day, uh, D shaped day. So just an accumulation of positioning, opening up two real entries. One, um, the most confirmed to get long should you break through the highs of that D shape. Alternatively, if you're looking to try and get ahead of that and preempt that move, and perhaps looking to get long uh, from the lows of that previous day at the bottom of that D shape, which is a trade which we're going to look at um, taking today. So, so far, uh, narrative suggesting opportunities for longs. Um, that's also supported then with the correlation. So, on the left hand side here, um, we can see the T notes, so that's the 10 year bonds uh, in the US. Uh, and it's a similar picture. We had a, a series of poor highs and excess at the lows, suggesting some longs, a very much positive correlation, so bonds higher gold higher here also. Um, and prior day to that, again, another series of poor highs and this double distribution. Now the double distribution uh, had been filled in um, this low volume area or minimal time spent in this area on this market profile. That had been filled in, that had been completed uh, and therefore a suggestion that perhaps we see continuation uh, through those poor highs and the expectation those poor highs will go on to be broken. Uh, and then supporting also then perhaps some more gold strength uh, it's just the ongoing downtrend that we can see in the dollar. Just a 30 minute chart here, it's the dollar index. We can see that continued weakness um, filtering through into markets at the moment. In terms of execution for this trade, just coming down to a 30 minute chart, we came into the lows, the blue dotted line here suggests the lows. That's the bottom of that D-shaped day, um, D-shaped profile, which we saw. We had a nice impulsive bullish engulfing coming in here, closing right at the top of the candle, nice long lower shadow. Um, just putting its head down beneath that low to see if there was going to be any accepted price. We immediately turned, saw a lot of strength come in. Um, and on the close of that candle, it then opened up a much shorter term execution. And that was this. So what we've got here is a one minute chart. 
um, and we were just looking at a breakthrough um, potential and a bit of short-term resistance, just the highs of the morning really, looking to take those highs out um, after the close of that bullish engulfing. Stop loss, nice and safe, one beneath the low of the previous day, which is this blue line running across the bottom, plus the absolute lows of the candlestick action this morning. Almost a double bottom formation with the price failing twice at that level. So nice safe stop loss below session lows, below previous day's lows, uh, and the lows of, of the current day as well. Um, with a, a fairly conservative target, just back up to the closing price of the previous day. We can see in the early hours of the morning that had been previous resistance already. Um, and then a run back up into yesterday's closing price uh, to achieve uh, just a little over a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. So a relatively low risk reward ratio, but quite a high level of confirmation, quite a short-term trade <clears throat> in around 30 minutes in terms of trade duration, uh, but also a nice safe stop loss. Uh, so a relatively low risk position with the majority of the technical signs pointing uh, to the top side. Um, and that was it for this trade in gold. So um, hopefully that's been, been useful, gives you a bit of a breakdown of how I went about taking this trade this morning. Um, if you're using profiles, if you're using support resistance, any of the indicators here, hopefully that can give you an indication as how you might utilize them. Um, and please do join us again for another trade review later on in the week.